Monus Microsystems is a flow meter manufacturer that believes in technology, strives to achieve excellence in everything and earns trust from all stakeholders. In this video, we show you how our calibration lab works and how we calibrate our thermal mass flowmeters. DS EN ISO 9300 is the calibration standard we follow. Measurement of gas flow is done by means of critical flow venturi nozzles. First the meter to be calibrated is installed in place. The calibration is done with dry, clean air, free from dust and humidity. Outlet of the compressor is connected to an initial air receiver. Here, most of the moisture content is removed. The compressed air is then passed through a refrigeration type dryer. This reduces the moisture content further, so that the pressure dew point becomes approximately to 2 degrees. It is then passed through a desiccant dryer. This dryer reduces the PDP to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Thus reducing the humidity to less than usual measuring range. Various filters are added before and after the dryer to make it clean. After it becomes clean and dry, it is stored in main air receivers. This air is utilized for air flow meter calibration. The pipeline carrying the dry and clean compressed air, then goes to control valves, and pressure regulator section. In this section, the pressure of the compressed air is controlled automatically by PLC control system, to desired level as per the requirement of calibration. Two different types of flow elements are used as masters. One is bank of critical flow venturi nozzles and second is a Coriolis mass flow meter of very high accuracy and precise resolution. Both the flow elements are means of measurement of mass flow of any gas or air. Very high accuracy pressure transmitters are used to measure the pressure of inlet and outlet of the critical venturi flow nozzles or sonic nozzle to calculate the correct mass flow passing through the master. Various sonic nozzles designed from 5 kg per hour to 1200 kg per hour are present in the bank. Depending on the flow rate requirements, the number of nozzles are activated by solenoid valves, in turn controlled by PLC system. For still higher flow rates, up to 2100 kg per hour. The Coriolis type mass flow meter is used as a master. The flow meters from size DN10 to DN200 can be fitted on this mechanism. The flow meter is fitted and the signal and power cable wiring is done. The speciality of this lab is, one can adjust the desired pressure of the flow meters while the fluid is flowing. This is achieved by a set of control valves at the outlet. These valves are controlled by the same PLC system. Now we will see how an airflow meter is calibrated. This is a Monus make thermal mass flow meter of size DN50. This one is now connected in the calibration system for calibration purpose. Let us now calibrate the meter at 1 bar gauge pressure. It is of the size DN50, that is 2 inches. Initially, there is no flow. The initial zero condition is entered to the flow meter. Then the range, that is, the full-scale flow and other parameters, like size etc. are fed to the control system through the dashboard controls. By selecting different sonic nozzles, any flow up to 1000 kg per hour can be set to pass through the meter. The readings for various flow values are taken and the meter constant is calculated by the software and is fed in the meter. The meter is now calibrated. For more information, visit www.manasmicro.com or contact us at digimark at manasmicro.com.